This is a tutorial on how to create this flashlight in Blender. And um, the reason I wanted to do this was because I've seen a few uh, flashlight tutorials in Blender, but they are they pretty much all start with a uh, cylinder. And maybe that's an easier way to do it. Um, I don't know, but uh, I just, I wanted to show another method of, of doing it. And uh, I, I enjoy doing it this way. Um, and we'll see, uh, see what you think of this. Um, I don't have a lot of time here, so I'm going to go a little bit quick and I might do this in multiple parts, but basically going to end up making uh, this flashlight. Now it looks uh, it's sort of plasticky and that's uh, partially due to my, you know, uh, skills in Blender. Uh, not that great and uh, not really worrying about uh, realism at this point and, and uh, making uh, good materials. I just want to practice uh, the modeling itself. And there's uh, certainly some issues with the modeling anyhow, but uh, you know, it's all part of part of learning. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how I did this. So uh, I just found a, a background image that I liked, an image of, of, a, of a flashlight, and it's not going to end up looking exactly like this, but just to get the general shape and the curves of it. And I put this in as my background, and um, I am going to start uh, to model this and uh, I guess I could use a plane and I'll hit alt M and I just want to get a single uh, vertex okay so I'm in front ortho view and I'm gonna bring this up roughly to the top there I'm not gonna worry about these little things here and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and model this kind of quick so I'm going to uh, hit uh, E to extrude and G to go and I'm just going to bring this right out uh, in the X uh, to around there. E and G, E and G, E and G. Let's bring it down here. And basically, I'm just going to be modeling the, uh, the profile of this. And I don't care how many points I'm using, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to put a subsurf on this and try to smooth it out. So we'll see how how it goes. So it's going to go all around the profile of this, just on one side, and then I'm going to use the screw modifier because it's nice and symmetrical to uh, make it whole. Now, uh, if I was a little bit smarter, I probably would be considering where I'm putting my points for you know the. Uh, the loops that I'm going to need to sharpen some of these edges, but I'm not that smart, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do this, have some fun, and see what happens. Now, what am I doing here? I'm just going to come right down to this. Again, it's not going to look exactly like, like this particular flashlight. We're just going to have some fun with it. I'm going to ignore that clip there. Okay, what's going on at this point? Uh, I can't really tell. All right, we're making making this up as we go along. Uh, let's say Z, straighten that out. Good enough. Probably don't need this many points, but I don't care. Let's just do what we want to do here. Can't really tell what's going on back there. So I'll make it up. Just keep going with this. Hmm. Okay, I'll come out here. Again, uh, a lot of people, are, most people would probably use cylinders for this. Now, at this point, I'm just going to round this off and I'm going to bring it back to here. I'm not going to do these things right now. Okay, so the, what I like to do is grab the first and the last point and to open this up and make sure X is zero. Okay, let's come out and there's my, my profile. 
So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to come over to the modifiers and I'm going to choose the screw modifier in the Z axis. And you can see I get that. All right. Uh, now I'm going to go and put subdivision surface of two. All right. So it looks, looks pretty cool already. Um, now I'm going to apply that. I'll leave this subsurf. And now let's see. what we want to work in. We'll just work we'll work with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to sharpen up some of these lines. Now I do have a lot of, of points and that maybe is part of the problem with this uh, method. Um, whereas if you use the cylinder uh, maybe it wouldn't be this crazy. But really not too worried about it although I may not have as good control. So we'll just have a look and see if if that sharpens things up relatively well. All right. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'll just uh, bring those down. Yeah, maybe in the end, you know, you end up just messing around with too many too many points too many lines but you know I don't know it doesn't really matter that much maybe I'll put that in and put another one in drag it down here Still the way that I like to I like to I like to work uh, this way, and use the screw modifier. Uh, and I don't mind if it looks sort of plasticky. It's 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 cute. It looks like a toy. Sort of like a toy. All right, I'll sharpen these up a little bit more. All right, and just keep. Uh, Keep going like that. Ah, oh, boy. This obviously changes the shape a little bit of it. Um, but uh, again, this is my fancy, <laughs> fun uh, flashlight. It's not necessary. I'm not trying to go for some uh, realistic particular brand. I'm just uh, doing this for me and for you right now. Okay, cool. Yep, it's a little bit like a, like a telescope. So now it's just all about dragging these uh, edge loops. And as you, as you drag them into various positions, you can get sharper or uh, more rounded edges, right? And so we're trying to sort of sharpen up some of these edges by bringing them in close. Whoops, not like that. what's going on there oops alt to get the whole line let's see if I just if I do this if I'm doing the right thing or if I'm messing this up good enough let's go down there Again, we're working kind of quick here. Oops. That's not what I wanted. This. I'm going to put another one in here. Control R to put new edge loops in. Okay, and uh, let's see what that's looking like so far. Okay, cool. And this would be the part maybe at the end you'd 
press a button, you know, to turn the flashlight on. Not exactly super hard edge or anything, but again, more like a cartoon uh, flashlight. I'll just come up here. I do want to sharpen this up a little bit up in this area. Let's see if that did it. Yeah, that, that's, that's not bad. What's going on there? If I bring all these, just ignore that. Let's see what that does. That's okay. Not sure I like that right there. That's all right. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll go with that. Okay. Let's see what's going on down here. Come down to this end here. And, uh, do this I'm gonna switch over to face mode and grab let's see what if I go by twos does that work no okay uh, three and leave one yeah so I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna select those hit E to extrude I'll bring these down a little bit Something like that. Now stay in there. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen these up, putting edge edge loops in there. They don't need to be super sharp though. Just like this. Alright, let's have a look at that so far. them that'll be like the, the uh well, what did i do there oh grab the wrong one that'll be like the button nah okay did i miss that Part there. What happened there? Okay. Yep. So uh, I don't like that. So I'm just going to uh, 
get rid of those. I think I'm gonna try it. Try it this way. See if this works for me or not. I know that's evil, isn't it? Let's just see if it looks looks reasonable. All right, that that'll be like the the button you press. Maybe I can do a better job of that though. Um, end gone there, but I don't really care. Let's let's see if I can do something here. 